All right, Ace back, people. Hey, so it's Monday morning. I'm going back to that job, and shout out to the person. Let me see, I don't know the name, but somebody said they'd like to see a part two of this right here. So, hey, thanks for everybody that's watching. Here is the part two. So this job here, this is the one where the um, condensate was leaking all in one of the bedrooms. They had a rusty secondary drain pan, so I do got the, the new drain pan that, uh, I'm gonna install, also I'm gonna add a secondary condensate flow switch inside the secondary drain pan. Uh, so hopefully that unit is shut off and I'll wire mine up to the condenser unit so, I'm, so it'll continue to, to run the blower motor. And people notice that, hey, it ain't cooling though, it's just getting hot. I like to do that, uh, in this case, if it's a evaporator coil freezing up, that, by the time I get out there, or technician get out there, hopefully it'll at least unthaw and we can do a leak search or something like that, or find out what's causing the uh, pan of the evaporator core to freeze up. But usually, I hope I hope this uh, ceiling is dry, or because I have had experience. If you step on a board, that whole since it being so soggy, that sheetrock with the screws that hold it up or a nail, I think they use screws. It, uh, it'll give away and you have big chunks of sheetrock falling down when you're stepping on the boards in the attic. You don't even have to step on the sheetrock, but that sheetrock will, will be so so um, soggy that it'll start falling down. But it seemed like the ceiling was pretty intact. And uh, so hopefully, you know, been done dried up and we can do some work folks so I got the secondary drain pan I, I'm gonna get the condensate flow switch and also I'm gonna see if I can clean that condenser coil up I'll probably take it all apart the condenser unit take it apart and clean it up good it seemed like it was in bad shape she also said something about some mold around the diffuser I'm not doing all that I looked at one in, in the restroom. It seemed like it was kind of loose. You can tell when they did the rent, uh, the reno. Those are new diffusers, and I ain't messing with the. Y'all seen the return? How bad it was? The return grill. I'm not messing with that either. I told them to get some filters. They can get they can get a broom. If they haven't done it, I think uh, maybe Garth left a comment and said that they hope that they turn the unit off before they clean that return grill. So they haven't done it while I'm there. I'm gonna let them know do it, to do it while I'm there and make sure they turn it off. That ain't, that ain't something I thought about uh, when I was there. So I know if, if they did do it, their unit was on, all this stuff is gonna suck right, right in there, right, right into the evaporator core or the floor wheel. So I probably need to take that unit, unit apart well, when I install the condensate drain drain switch, I'll take a look at that blower motor, see how, I mean, blower wheel, and see how bad it is. Because I imagine the way they return grill, yeah, I know that blower, blower wheel probably look ridiculous, so I'm very dirty. But I ain't back, people. See if we can get some footage. I don't want to talk while I'm going over set. All right, folks, for the run of Jackson Supply, get some kind of safe flow switches. What's up with these units right here? I thought they were scratching them for a minute. Might be warranty. Good, good man. Thanks for what's up with these units. Get some flow switches, folks. Uh, all right, folks, I'm just going to get four of these, four of these cheap ones. Like I say, they're going to be for my property manager. And I'm going to get about two of these just to put on my truck. For my customer, I like these. I like these right here, too. I don't care for the inline flow switches at all. Sometimes you need them, though, especially when you can't get a secondary drain pan or something like that up under. But for my property manager, these 
of a half the price of these. And, and it don't matter if they made a go, you're gonna get paid the same thing, so. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, but, but they probably just scrap it, huh? Uh, it really depends, yeah. man. It's not yeah. out of my jurisdiction. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it, I know somebody's making a killing out of it. Yeah. So the compressor fan, they, they give a whole, give a whole that, new unit. They something. did that for quite a few years on on some units. Right, so right, right. It was like uh, just depend on what you were doing. Right? Okay. You got rubber gloves. They definitely stopped that. Uh, yeah. I no, bet. I don't have any gloves. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, I have That's these. Right. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. Working gloves, yeah. no rubber gloves. All right. Yeah. 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 These guys, do they do any subcontracting work? See, they got their own company. Are y'all do install? Huh? Y'all work for y'all self? Y'all work for a company? Huh? No, no, speak uh, habla English? Ustedes hacen la instalación? Oh, yeah. This your company? Es tu empresa? De Luis. Yes. Luis. Okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es tu número de teléfono? Okay, gracias. Okay. Acá, all right. Excuse me, amigo. We slide by. Gracias. Yeah, folks, so I just picked up my condensate flow switches. I had to re-up. But uh, I get the cheapest one for property managers and my warranty company customers. What a warranty company pay for it, if it need to be replaced or, or something like that. Nah, I get the cheapest one. Like I said, it don't matter if they made a go, you're gonna get paid the same thing. So, uh, as long as they work, shut out the unit, hey. They ain't paying us no gold bar, but I mean. Damn, folks, well, somebody showed up at the wrong time. Yeah. And that lady in the bed, yeah. I'm in the truck. I don't want to get too close to nobody's face, but. Gotta keep it proper. All right, folks. Loving that disabled woman up. I don't want to get too close. I don't want to invade nobody's privacy, so. All right, boss. All right. Uh, I have access? Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Uh, Let me go get it. Okay. Yeah, if you just open up, open up the garage, I can get started. Right, you're oh, out. Okay. okay. I got a lot of stuff going on today, folks. I just gotta move that car to the look like it. Yeah. All righty. Oh, you got to go around Hello. the room? Uh, no, no. I just need to get uh, get access to this part right here. Yeah, yeah. You need to get back in the, in the, in, in the attic, yeah. yeah. Got to uh, move the car. I'm going to put a new drain pan up in there, and then I'm going to clean that outside unit. Okay, good so you don't need to do nothing in the house, No, right? no, okay. no. Okay. Did y'all change the filters? Y'all get the new no, filter? No, no, not yet. Okay, so you can't get those filters. Today. All right. Do you know what kind of get? Yeah. yeah. But you know, yeah. too. Hell yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure we get those filters. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Did it stop dripping water? Yeah. Okay, yeah, great. Okay. Exactly. Okay, so we yeah. got the cloud. Okay, all right, all right then. I'll make sure so I got the brush yeah. yeah. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, my brother. All right. All right, folks. Got a mercy drain pan. We're going to put us a flow switch on there. They should be good to go. All right, folks. Now, I've been using this high sweets. So I'm going to leave links in the description below. I think you get a 15% discount and they may have some uh, November Black Friday type deals, but you can visit their uh, website, kaisweets.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. I've been using it on a couple jobs now. For, so uh, y'all check it out, Kai Sweet. I'm saying Kai Weeks, Kai Sweets, I don't know, one uh, price. 
So you get additional 15% off if you use my discount code 15 WWHVAC. All right. Oh, I hope I can bring some. Uh, I probably can use the one on there. I hope I brought some female fitness. I got to load up on them. Wish I could give me a whole bucket. I don't think hold. I don't depot don't sell the whole bucket of three quarter female. Ooh, hope I ain't forgetting. Good thing we got a HVAC plaza right up the street though. All right, y'all see how I do it. We got the bucket. Let's see what we're gonna carry light. We're gonna carry light today, folks. We don't need that much up in there. Let's see here. Big screwdriver. Take all this out of there. All right. So I'll put that in there. We don't need no copper cutter today. Yeah, folks, well roll bucket. About the bucket challenge, folks. All right. Somebody said I need the wasn't glove. Got some glove. I said I need knee pad. Might be having all this stuff, folks. Sometimes, man. Or the glove, man. I'm, a, I'm immune to it, man. Real plumbers, we're immune to all that bull crap. Let's go. All right, show me what you're working with. All right, so that pan is still dry. Actually, got for he left. Did it stop leaking in that bedroom? He said yes, so that's good. Let's go in. I'll leave the links in the description below for anybody didn't watch me troubleshoot this car right here initially. Oh, they got a flow switch back there, but I didn't see that last time. But since that drain pan so rusted out, that pan not holding no water. You can see, secondary dry now. Get a new one in here. Give me a grinder, man, because I would have cut this pipe right here so fast. Let's see, man. I'm a, I'm, I hope I can re it. Look rusty, but I hope I can reuse that female because I don't have one in my truck. I can't look. I got ways around it. Though. Let's see here. Hooked up anyway, the flow switch. Yeah, man, the whole pan just rusty. Rust it out. That prop dripped on the side of the house for so long. See 
gotta rust it out of here. Big old hole right there. So what happens is their primary gets stopped up or clogged up, whatever you want to call it. And it would drip. It drip out the secondary. Which is then supposed to go outside, outside of the house. But since it couldn't hold no water, it just go right on the ceiling. And uh, hopefully that stuff will dry up and don't cause any mold. Cause ain't no telling how long it dripped up here before it took a path for leaf resistance. And went down to the ceiling. Here's my new pan though. Go ahead and get that put in. Put this in. And then we'll put in a uh, flow switch. All right, that thing look kind of rusty, folks. Let's see if I can get it off. Right there, though. That'll be nice. Probably ain't no way. That's what that. Oh yeah, it ain't. That sucker ain't gonna budge without tearing the whole thing up. Let's take this off, man. I might have to run to the supply house and get me a new one. Let me see if I can check my truck again. Oh, I got one on now. All right, so I don't have no female threads on my truck. Finish that drain pan. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and install this flow switch i run go get me some and we'll come back and finish that part so i wonder if they change this a double a three i haven't used a new style yet but these work good too they used to be metal and they put it plastic but uh Got some decent flow switch. All right, so I guess you get what you pay for it and come with it. All right, not that long. I was gonna put it all the way up there to the edge. I'm just gonna put it. Put it on the middle back here. And it should fill up though if that secondary get clogged up. Cause I got it flat now. I'm, they had it on that board. I'm not gonna put it on that board. I'm just gonna have it flat. So it won't just be running downhill.
So this is my condenser wire right here. It's going out to the condenser. And since they, uh, I'm just gonna splice in where the old one was. You can see where they got their wire nut. And so I don't need to open the unit up. All right, so I'm gonna put all this back together. I forgot they already had the one installed at one point in time. Works out good though, and I can install it closer to the drain plug. Here, I'm just going to splice exactly where they had the other one at. All right. Like I said, I like to shut out my condenser. I'm, I'm just used to doing that in commercial. Some people will splice it at the transformer. The wire that's going to the transformer to shut down the whole unit. each his own. For some people's philosophy, they shut down the whole, whole unit. The uh, homeowner know that it's getting hot. But if you shut the condenser off, they'll know it's getting hot too. Put it right here. All right. So with this pillow of water, this float on here is going to fill, lift up and then shut the outside unit off. Back at Jack Supply, let's see if we get some PVC three quarter female thread. That's what I need you right here, folks. Mm. Y'all don't sell these by the bags, though. Well, I got I got bags in the back, like 50. Yeah. They come in 50. How much? How much? Uh, yeah, it's you're looking at 36.52. Yeah, let
folks. So, see you next week. Bye. Um, So we can get that cleaned up, folks. All right, folks, get that cleaned up here. Like I said, I like to hit it with that brush first, cause I don't want to get, get everything too wet. You got all this debris down on the bottom. You can't drain like talking about. This unit not that old. Unit is 2022. Unit is two years old. Folks, looking like it's 10 years old. All right, and get to work. Artworks, folks. Your art is out We don't need no scale.
Take the time, put your nice little podcast on. Something don't, something that you can listen to to make you gonna have a good attitude, and not be so negative towards the, the world. Remember, you determine what the day gonna be. Not any outside force. I uh, do every job best you can, the best you can do. We try to improve every day. But Will Smith say some quote like, uh, you don't sit out to, to build a wall, you just lay brick by brick, and eventually you will have a wall. So don't worry about the end, end goal, building that whole brick wall. You just go brick by brick, That's day by day, and eventually you'll have a wall. If you just think about the end goal all the time, as far as your goals, it's gonna seem like it's gonna be a mile away, but you just start at that corner, go brick by brick. And you do leave this earth. Hey, you can look back and say, God, well done. I can say my goal really is here it is not not to get this core shiny, but make sure it breathes. Well, I know for sure it's gonna breathe a lot better. We're gonna leave something better off than where we found it. That's the goal right there. Might not be perfect, but I guarantee you it's gonna be a lot better. Like I say, we'll do the best we can with the budget that they allow us to have. And I try to do a, a little better than what... I always try to do a, a little more than what I get paid to do.
I'll be done maybe about another 10, 15 minutes. Though. Okay. All right. Do you hear that uh, smoke detector chirping in there? I couldn't do it, folks. Matter of fact, I came home last week and my smoke detector was chirping. I, I need to hurry up and send an invoice to a customer real quick. Man. Boy, the thing was getting on my nerves. I had to stop what I'm doing before I even got paid. I had to go, hey, stop that turf before it happened. I probably got nine smoke detectors in my house, and y'all know it. It's probably kind of hard to find which one is chirping sometimes. But I had to stop what I'm doing. That's the stuff that drive me crazy. Chirp. Beep, beep, there. There's five seconds. So these managed units. Purple used to be the fan on the cap. And it just got black. Oh orange. Um, black. Alright, folks, we can ready to fire it up now. I'm gonna turn that furnace on. All right, up, man. I'm gonna get up out of here. Them pressure should be good. I checked them last time out here. Like I say, I'll leave links in the description below if anybody interested. You can catch me diagnosing this unit here. Like old Lav say, it was a shit show. It was a shit show. video every day, huh? About five, six, seven years in a row. So I say, hey, you hard me, I can't compare. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if I can't compare, hey, he, he been in business. He been in business long as I even, before I even started, I ain't thought about getting into Ace back, so I don't like to compare myself with folks. His clientele, he got, he had way more clientele than I got. He's been in the game a lot longer than me to get the clientele. So I can drop a video, what service video every day if I wanted to. Because I ain't got that many customers. So, 
careful who you compare yourself to. So, but uh, you gotta salute the people that are putting their work in. That's why his subscriber count look good like that. Dropping no videos on you. All right, folks. Uh, go turn the. Go ahead, turn the furnace off. I mean, condenser on first. Got to go in the attic, turn the furnace on. Bam. Close that back up. Should be calling for cool. It was calling for cool when I turned it off. So sometime, man, hey, you do this a lot of time, you'll get a wire cross or something like that. So you got to verify that everything's still running. There's been plenty of time out of even trying to record a video of going too fast and put the orange wire where that black wire is supposed to be. Not the 24 volt now. But the uh easy to cross your common. All right. So another thing we just want to make sure. Yeah, it ain't going nowhere. So you really gotta make sure that water. I uh, like it. I'm gonna put a 90 right here. I'm gonna go get a 90 so it drop straight down. I ain't gonna take a chance on this 45. Throw this stuff away here. Oh, I don't want to get my light there. Yeah, I'm running to get a 90. There we go. Alright, folks, I'm gonna pook this stuff up. Um, I seen some like some air gaps. I'm gonna put me a little pookie up on here. I'm gonna get up out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video though. As always, hey, thanks for watching. Especially if you made it to the end. If y'all find this informative or uh, this video valuable, hit that like button. Share with somebody that maybe can use this. More like uh, hey, the day in the life of HVAC tech. This is the kind of work that we do. Maybe somebody that haven't thought about getting in the trade would be interested in this kind of work. Share, share. You know what I'm saying? It's fun. Uh, you ain't really got no supervisors. When you win HVAC special, when you get out, you get out on your own. Uh, you get your own service truck. I'm, I'm just saying, even, even if you, I work for myself, so of course I'm out of my own most of the time, 98% of the time. But even when you start working for a company, once you get some experience up under, they're gonna put you in a service truck on your own. You'll be out in the field doing this kind of work on your own. Uh, so if you don't want no supervisor over you all the time, I know I ain't like that, you know, like warehouse work, stuff like that, or even office work, but you got your managers all over you 24 seven, not in the trade, not in the HVAC trade. Uh, you're pretty much out here on your own when you're doing service work, especially. But uh, if anybody interested in getting in the trade, Hopefully I can be a benefit to you. So consider hitting that subscribe, subscribe button or share with somebody. Share with your schools, your professor. I know a lot of guys that I uh, ran across, they say they uh, even introduced me to the school. So like I say, if I can be a help, I'm not really an instructor or anything like that. I don't get on here saying this, how you do this or how you do that. I'm just showing you how I do it pretty much. All right, back people, we out though. Gotta show you the condenser before I get up out of here though, folks. That thing breathing right. Yeah, that's what we want right there. Hey, like my boy Ace Back Ben say, hey, if you, you can read this, change your air filter. And these folks right here, they ain't changed no air filter still. So, hey, I'm just a messenger, folks. So, ain't a need of me. Hey, I'd be here all day if I was trying to fix all the repairs. I'm saying because every time I look around I see some but they they ain't even changed the filter yet so hey I got it all cleaned up for them hopefully I'll change the filter I ain't look at that blower wheel because I can imagine how it look so you can all do what you can do folks